We're trying to ban the hijab. You're crazy. The, no. I'll sign it. You're gonna sign it? I'll sign it. Yeah, okay, that sounds great. To, to ban the hijab. To ban it. Yes. Oh, I don't agree, sorry. Well, why not? Why do you believe it's wrong? That's me, SQ. Asking people to sign my petition to ban the hijab. <laughs> why would you do such a thing? I'm glad you asked. In the 2024 Olympics, France banned Muslim athletes from participating if they wore the hijab. An obvious Islamophobic act, but the world didn't even bat an eyelid. But what most people don't know is that since 2004, hijabs have been banned from being worn in schools. And in 2010, the niqab was banned from being worn in public. So I came up with a devious idea. I'm going to create a fake petition asking people to ban the hijab, allowing us to expose the hidden Islamophobia in people's hearts so we could then educate them about Islam. <laughs> oh, that's a genius idea! Thanks. But first, we needed to find out what people in the West really think about France banning the hijab. <laughs> have you been watching the Olympics? No, I won't be watching it. At all? Do you, are you familiar that France has banned the hijab? The scarf that Muslim women wear, are you familiar with that? No, I don't, I don't watch that stuff, yeah, bro. But they've banned the hijab. What are your thoughts about that? I don't care about stuff like that. Bro. Really? At all, but it's someone's religious garments, you think they should just be banned? No. Are you guys familiar with what the hijab is? You ever heard of that? No. The hijab, the scarf that Muslim women wear? Mm -hmm. oh, the yeah. Hijab. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're familiar. Yeah, with that, right? yeah. Uh, I've heard of it. I'm not really sure. Uh, that, is that the head covering? Yes, it's a scarf that Muslim women wear. Are you familiar with it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What are your thoughts on the hijab being banned in the Paris Olympics? I'm sure you've heard of that. Are you yeah. familiar? Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to take part. I, I belong. Any opinion. <laughs> do you know about it? Not really, like I'm not really. really. But as a woman, does that not offend you that uh, that that women are being stopped from participating because of their religious beliefs? I don't really think about it much, to be honest. Really? Yeah. Just... Well, you didn't know about that. No, we didn't know about that. Either. Yeah. So France has banned any woman who's wearing a hijab for playing into the Olympics. I mean, as a female yourself, you know, what what are your thoughts about that? That's crazy. Why? I don't know. Why would? someone be banned for having to wear a hijab that's I don't know just seems crazy to me I'm not aware of that at all mm. oh I didn't even know didn't that, know that was, was happening you didn't know uh-uh okay, it's not okay yeah I knew it was a thing and it's not okay that they do that because it doesn't do anything negative there's nothing negative with it that's just something they wear that's like that'd be like banning a shirt it should be their choice yeah Mm -hmm. I mean, that's the obvious thing. Mm -hmm. I actually am aware. Are you? What are your thoughts about that? I think it's bullshit. Really? Why? Because people should be free to express themselves and within their religious tenets and still participate in the world's greatest stage. Yeah. Yes? And they allow the transsexual to play. Oh, yeah, I heard about and, that. And they're allowing the Israelis to play who are committing mm -hmm. a genocide. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm so happy you asked me because I have a lot of thoughts about that. Tell us, please. I think it is incredibly oppressive and in games that are supposed to celebrate every nation, all the nations around the world, it is completely insulting. It's, I think it's an absolute disgrace and there's no reason because it's not going to hit their athletic performance it's not going to make them better performers I think it's just really a way to um, to discriminate against people of color and people of religions that Relig are Christian so why is it that the Western world being that this is a Western country modern country how can they get away with doing this in front of everyone because the United States are a bunch of <laughs> hypocrites although that's Paris they're still part of the West a bunch of <laughs> hypocrites it's just, it's just Islamophobia. That's just what it is. Stupid. Yeah. It's Islamophobia, and I think that's fair to say because it's interestingly enough that they've stopped, obviously, women, Muslim women, from wearing this scarf. Yet Israel, who's committing a genocide currently right now, haven't been stopped or blocked or banned. Yeah. Yeah. And it's funny enough, as the ICJ has ruled that Israel is an apartheid state and they're committing genocide, they still haven't been blocked. Yeah, because what, I can't remember what other country was, but it was in the Olympics in the past, there was another country that was an apartheid state and they were banned from the Olympics. South Africa. South Africa. I'm like, it was South Africa. South Africa. South Africa. They were banned for almost four whole Olympics. Yeah, so it's dumb that because 
uh, it's been decreed uh, apartheid states dumb that they're that they are still allowed to compete. Like you mentioned, there is a discriminatory factor behind. It. Yeah, absolutely. There is no other reason to ban the hijab. That's crazy. You mentioned that because you have a country, for example, like Russia, who has been completely banned from the Olympics. Are you familiar? with that? Yes, I am. Because, because of the war, of the Olympic truce. Yes, because of the war in Ukraine. Yes. Okay. Yet Israel has not been banned from the. Olympics. I do have a lot of thoughts about that. Tell too, us. Because they are not only bombing pa Palestine, they are bombing multiple countries, and they are, there's this agenda that we need to that the most dangerous place is Iran, while Israel is just performing genocides and just unjust disgusting gruesome killings with no consequences they're still in the olympics and you're not even allowed to like say to the athlete Can't. and i and i understand the athletes aren't the people that are doing things wrong but it's crazy that we're protecting the israelis and not the people that they're attacking and it's so interesting that you mentioned that thank you for your thoughts by the way on this and if you think about this and compare this to 1936's olympics when the nazi germany was in charge of the olympics, yes 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 right? mm -hmm. And they had their swastikas and this entire propaganda campaign against them. Yes. And it's funny that they've allowed rapists, murderers, people committing genocide to perform in the Olympics, yet a woman who's wearing the hijab has been banned. No, as a world of many nations, I think we should strive every year to be better than we were before. And I just don't think that that's how we're behaving right now. They doesn't like us. And you got to know that. They're going to show it by any way they can show it. But we, we as Muslims, we have to fix our situation. No one gonna fix it for us. I'm sorry about that, but let me tell you, not the social media, not the people walking in the street, get the signs of rebel, no, none of that. We have to fix it by ourselves. And connecting with Allah, reconnect. Yes, sir. Yes. Reconnect it is the beginning, because when you be a real Muslim, you're gonna follow the straight way, and you're gonna be safe. Allah said that. No, Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Their argument is not just the Olympics that they're banned from. Even young girls in schools are not allowed to wear the hijabs. What are your What's your first reaction to that? Yeah, again, I just think that's silly. Why can't someone wear that? Girls cannot wear a hijab in the school. So what the girls were wearing, out of modesty and dignity for the religion, they were wearing hats. So then they banned the hats. Now some girls are wearing wigs on their heads so that they cover their head. Oh my gosh, that's awful. That's oppressive. That's can you believe that in a Western country, that type of oppression is taking place? That's just terrible. terrible. I'm sorry. I have a lot of thoughts, especially any kind of like clothing restrictions in school. Those women are there to learn. Yes. And when you stop them from feeling safe there, you're taking away women's education. Women Absolutely. Girls. So if it's so interesting that the idea behind the hijab that they try to claim is that it's oppressive, yet you're putting that same oppression on the girls from wanting to wear it. Yeah, because a hijab is a choice. No one forces you to wear the hijab. And if you're a hijabi and you decide one day that you don't want to wear it anymore, no one can stop you. It's always a choice. Every single day you put it on, it's your choice that you're making. Yes. So women who want to choose to obey God and want to wear the hijab, it is their choice. And yet we have governments of filled with men, right, who are it's claiming that men are oppressing the women, yet those same men are the ones oppressing the women from wearing the hijab, which is kind of silly. If they use this energy to protect people from Palestine, then we'd be living in a different world. Completely. Unfortunately, what these people are worried about is women and girls wearing hijabs. It's not something, isn't it? It's not. We have to cut whatever doesn't match our religion. We have to cut it. Absolutely. Do it. Even the Olympics. Okay, we're going with a hijab. You're not going to let me go? I don't need it. I need my hijab. You got what I mean? Yes. I'm not going to take my hijab to be an Olympic hero. You got what I mean? Yes. And so that's what they want. They want you to, to convert for them. them. So yes. that's why I'm telling you at the beginning, we have to work in our way. We need to focus on yes. ourselves and connection you with Allah. What I mean. The Quran and the Sunnah, and that needs to be our guide. Yes, sir. And I'm telling you, the Rasul, yes, sir. He said, uh, there, is a, there is a period of time after him, the Muslim, the real Muslim, he's like the, the guy who catching the, the charcoal by his yes. hand. You got what I mean? So I think we in this period of time, my brother, we are. We, are. we have to walk in our way. We, we have, have to stay to united together as an ummah as well, too. We cannot be fighting, cannot be arguing. We cannot, we see a Muslim brother, we should greet them with assalamu alaikum. They need to know we're together like this. What is your, I guess, words of encouragement or advice? Or what would you want to say, France, if they're watching right now about what their policies are? Yeah, I mean, again, I just, it's, I think it's silly, and I don't know, I'd like to see that changed. I don't think they should do it, but they need to stay strong and just be okay. Definitely, just like keep on doing your thing and support, you know? And no one has the right to block you or stop you from wearing a religious garment. Right. Stop being hypocrites. That's it. If you really want democracy, 
stop doing what you're doing. Sacrificing and sabotaging other people's leaders voted for so that they can put their puppets in place. Oh man, you're speaking my language right now. I like it, I like it. God bless you, my brother, okay? What is your message to friends watching this right now and their entire Islamophobic agenda? What would you like to tell them right now? Um, ooh, that's a really good question. Um, I'd say that, you know, we expect you to do better and we know that you're capable of better. I think France is a great country. I think there's really incredible people that live there and I don't think laws like this really represent the people of France and what they actually believe in. And I think the government needs to make some changes so people don't start feeling differently about France because France is beautiful. There's nothing wrong with France. But we just have to represent ourselves better and make better choices and hopefully you know, get a little bit better every day. And I think that if there's more people such as yourself, ma'am, and my sister, I think if there's more people out there who are educated on the topic and who care enough, because one might ask, it doesn't affect me, why should I care? It does affect you. Because that's a Western country snatching the religious liberties and freedoms of someone who's to say that they won't do that over here next. Exactly. It can happen to anyone. It could happen to anyone, it could happen to everyone. It can, and, and justice to one is injustice to all. Absolutely, I couldn't agree with that. I'm so sorry, I have some gifts for you guys. I'm so sorry. Oh. It's the Quran. I just forgot this. Here you go. Here's the Quran. This is obviously the, we believe, is the last and final uh, speech from God. It is the final verbatim word of God. Like the Bible has old in the New Testament. We believe this is the final testament. So this is a gift from us to you. It's an English translation of the Quran. And please just have a look at it to continue to educate yourself about what's happening in the world and what Muslims believe in as well. Thank you. Okay, thank you so much. God bless you guys. Thank you so much. But this is an English translation of the Quran for you as a gift from us to you. God bless you, my friend, okay? Take care, take care. Thank you for this. This is gonna be on our YouTube channel called Way of Life SQ. To you, my sister, and just thank you so much for keeping an open mind and standing up for the rights of women across the world because a lot of people don't see it that way, you know? And women should be championing each other. And I think that any woman who, I would assume someone who has that, uh, believes in women's rights, and it should be everyone's concern should be women's rights. It shouldn't just be a woman's job yeah. to be concerned for that. As someone concerned for women's rights, it is your job and everyone's job to defend the honor of the women. And if someone's trying to strip that away from them, it's our job to represent and to uh, go against that type of regime that's happening. So this is a gift from us to you. This is a holy. Appreciate Quran. that. That's Have you? Do you know anything about this? I know it's the holy book of Islam, but I've never, I've never even read a passage. It's interesting you mentioned. This is the only book that, of all the scriptures, that has a chapter called Al Nisa, which means the woman. In a time where women were given no rights, and this is in the Old Testament and the New Testament, women had no rights to vote, women had no rights to own property, women had no rights to even divorce. In an abusive relationship, God reveals a final revelation that people have changed around, except the Quran, where he's giving women their rights, and he even named a chapter called The Woman. So I encourage you to read it, my sister. Thank you so much. It's a very kind gift. God bless you. SubhanAllah, it's obvious that some are uninformed about France's hatred towards Muslims. Most are upset about these descriptions discriminatory acts, and others, surprisingly enough, are too scared to speak up. So now it is time for us to run our ban the hijab, fake petition social experiment. Will the people be outraged and stand up against this Islamophobic petition? Or will their hidden racism rise to the surface? Let's find out. Yes, you, black shirt, sign our petition please. Please, sir. All right. One signature. Please. Ladies, please. A petition. Uh, just ignore us. Okay. Enjoy your kombucha. How you doing? Do you love America? Yes, you do. Can you help sign our petition, please? We're trying to ban the hijab. Isn't that not patriotic, though? Make America great again. Why, why not? She's smiling. He's smiling. It's that. It's he's smiling. He's like, oh, I see. I yes, saw. Yes, I see him smiling. Guys, please. Just please sign, sign our petition. petition. It's for a great cause. We're, we're trying to ban the hijab. What is that? You know the scarf that those Muslim women wear? You know what I'm talking about? Oh. The hijab, yeah. So, ban it. Why not? Yeah. But they did, they, but one, one second, one second, but they did it in France. It just ran away. But they're doing it in France. Why can't we apply that in America? Oh man. I'm sorry. I'm no, it's, it's okay. I, I appreciate No, no I, I appreciate you. Yeah. Listen, listen. Just one, one second, one second, one second. I see you got upset with that. I got. I don't really know much on that. I can't really speak on it. Everyone Why are you upset? People can yeah. wear what they want. That's okay. my belief. That's your belief. Okay. Yeah. That's I a good belief. Really I believe in that belief as well, too. Just so you know, I appreciate you. We're actually filming a social experiment over there. So, no. 
<laughs> you did the right. That's the reaction we want. We oh, want people okay. to that's be true. disgusted yeah. by yeah. this idea. Why? Why do you feel so strongly about it? Because everyone has like. I mean, this is America. You can wear what you want to, what you want. like. You know. Yeah. And if a woman is choosing to wear the hijab, why should a government body stop you and make it illegal right. to make the hijab? You, that, that makes sense. And it's your religion. You should have the autonomy to practice how you wish it. Because in France, I'm not sure if you're familiar, uh, ch school children in schools, the hijab is completely banned. They're not allowed to wear it in France, a Western country. Wow. Yeah. And then they, were, they wanted to wear hats to even cover their hair, and even that was banned as well. They, they were not trying. And then obviously recently, most recently in France for the Olympics, all women athletes, Muslim athletes who want to wear the hijab and participate, they were completely banned from participating in the Olympics. Oh, wow. Yes. So like, it just shows that there's a lot of Islamophobia and just hate because if it's Muslims right now, what about the Sikh men who wear the turbans on their head? Why? Who's to say what's next? Or nuns, right? Why is it that a nun wouldn't be stopped, right? They're wearing a whole entire gear as well too. So it just shows you that there's a lot of Islamophobia stuck inside the world. And I appreciate people like yourself who are disgusted by that. You're like, oh no, no, you were, you were disgusted by it completely. <laughs> No, I, I really appreciate you. I, look, I have a final par parting gift for you guys. This is an English translation of the Quran. I really appreciate you guys for spending some time with us. Thank you so much. No problem, fine. You'll be fine. No, you're amazing because, you know, I think that there needs to be more people who are outraged by it. And, you know, some people's silence becomes compliance and their indifference becomes acceptance. Yeah. Outrage is the right thing to do, but unfortunately some people aren't even aware that they were doing this So it's not anyone's fault, but we need to stay up to date that there's a lot of like bigotry happening in the world So I appreciate you a lot. Thank you. Have a blessed day. Have a blessed day guys. Hey, God bless you. Take care Could you sign my petition, please? Could you sign my petition? Please, can I bother you for a signature? Guys, hello, how are you doing? I'm good, I'm good. So today doing? we're actually trying to do a petition. So we're actually trying to ban the hijab would you like to sign our petition? You're banning the hijab? Yeah, yeah, we're trying to make a petition to ban the hijab. Full of shit. I don't believe it. How? How? Are you serious? Is that... Yeah, yes. look, well, we're out here. We have, look, we have some signatures as well. To yeah, ban the hijab. To ban it. Yeah, yeah, yeah to ban it. And they're and doing it in France too. It? Because, you know, other Western countries like France, right, they're participating in these things. Yeah. So we're thinking as well, like, this isn't a Western country yeah, as well. Why not? I mean, if it was so wrong, why isn't the world stopping it? Right? If it was that bad, then they would have been stopping it. Yes, yes. I don't like the fact that you guys are not Islamophobic. I feel like you guys need to show a little bit more. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> We're just <laughs> we couldn't no, we couldn't keep a straight face. My son, my son saw you guys early. Oh, you guys. Now we are showing a, a social experiment. We're trying to basically have people and see who's willing to show their Islamophobia side to them because obviously there's a lot of Islamophobic nature happening amongst people. Right. And now if we can actually see them and and have them participate in this, it'll be easier for us to see that look and point out to them that look, this is a wrong way of behaving. You get what I'm saying? And a lot of people have this types of prejudice and biases yeah. and this nastiness inside of them, especially yeah, yeah. in the world we're in now yeah. and with the election coming up. Yeah. So yeah, we're just going around to just see that. We're just shooting a social we're experiment right now. You know, at the end, we're giving them a Quran to give it at the end and walk away. So yeah. like, we're doing that type of thing. Good. So. You know what, we need, we need a bit more of that, for sure. For sure. Oh, good luck. Yeah, my son Thank spotted you, you guys. Spotted yeah, all right, all right. Masha Allah, bro. spotted you, he's like, I see this guy. Alhamdulillah. You. Continue your efforts and hard work. Thank good you, well, bless you guys. Salaam alaikum, guys. Brother man. Help us please, out, please. Please sign our petition. It's a great cause. It's to ban the hijab. How are you doing today? What is it? We're trying to ban the hijab. What's the hijab? You know the hijab, the scarf that Muslim women wear? Yeah. The one that they're oppressed Muslim. by. That one. But they, they like to wear it, right? Because it's clean. It keeps the dust off the face. I know, but like, they should show a little bit more skin. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, like, what man. What are they living in like the, the 10th century? Shouldn't it be her choice? Well, yeah, I mean, it should be our choice, but they're banning in France, and they're advanced than us. You love French fries? I'll sign it, I'll sign it. You're gonna sign it? I'll sign it. Thank you, man. Thank you so much. I, we so really much. appreciate this. I understand. Uh, so you support banning the hijab? It doesn't bug me. But like you said, no, if, no. I mean, they shouldn't be so nervous to, to have to wear. That's old traditions, like like from a long time ago. I guess. Maybe yeah. they got some lessons they teach. Yeah. Them. 
because I know I'm Ashkenazi uh, Jewish, but okay. I know that the rabbis are really nasty to their wives sometimes. They tell them uh. don't talk to nobody, mm. and they just they're so old and backwards. You well, know? you mentioned actually a really good point, right, about the the choice. Well, if it is their choice, right, should we have the right to ban or even tell them to take the hijab off? No, well, yeah, because it's America. I okay. mean, you don't have to be so scared. Well, but, but, if it, but, if it's Am- but if it is America, shouldn't they have the right to just wear what they want to wear? Yes, everybody, even the hard men. Like, yeah. Because you have to, they say you have to... Then, then why do you want to ban the hijab? Because you asked me to sign it. I know, but you didn't have to sign it. Oh, I don't know. I wanted to go buy a joint and smoke it. And, and, and we're just it. blocking you from doing that. <laughs> no, well, I thought I'd be nice to like, sign it. Well, I appreciate... Well, look, I appreciate you trying to be nice to us, but just, just know that this is what Islamophobia is all about, right? In France, they banned the hijab. They stopped women from wearing them in schools and stuff like that, too. If we're truly... In the Olympics, obviously, but if we're trying to allow women and they, we believe that it is a woman's choice to do it, then shouldn't they be allowed to wear, whether it be old tradition or not, if they want to and they believe it in their religion, they should be able to wear it with freedom and choice. Well, they can make it something they wear on the weekend. But don't you think just that? Just for, yeah. uh, you know, for important uh, appointments, like a job interview or something, or, or maybe if they're out at the market, they could just wear uh, like a slight hijab, so maybe just let their face show, but just wear something around the, uh, the head and the head. Okay. But who are we to decide how they should wear it? They should be able to wear it how they find needed to wear it. But, in, in, but, but, but they might think that they have to wear it, but if they see the signatures on the piece of paper or something okay. that says you don't have to wear it if you don't want to, then okay. maybe they can make, they'll have the choice. Well, but even it's necessarily signing it isn't telling the woman, take off your hijab or take mm. off your hijab. It's just saying it's your right to wear it if you want. So if it's your right to wear it if you want, then that would mean they also have the right not to wear it, right? Yeah. So if they already have the right to or not to wear it, why does someone from the outside have to come and ban it? But I didn't ban it. I'm just signing the paper. But I know, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. You get what I'm saying? I kind of get what you mean. So like it's uh, by us supporting this ban of the hijab, like they've done in France, for example, like... If you want to wear the hijab, like you said, it's your choice, right? Whether you want to wear it on weekends or full time or whatever it might be, yeah. it's your choice. How can a government body come and tell a woman how they should or shouldn't dress or if they are able to practice the religion uh, freely or not? That's just how some governments are. Uh-huh. But is that right? Uh, well, it, 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 it depends. It's a democracy. It, it depends on what the people feel like. But if, if it's a democracy, right? If it's a democratic government, should a democratic government have the right to tell a woman Right? We're all about feminism and women's rights. How is it not, why, why aren't people upset that a woman is being stopped? I think, I think personally that a woman not being allowed to wear hijab is oppression. You get what I mean? That is oppression. Oh, that's a good point. If you're stopping them from wearing something that they have a choice to wear, what, that is the oppression right over there. Like, I don't have the right to tell someone like, hey, not to wear that or something like that. If she wants to cover up, she should be able to cover up. The government or a government body or society shouldn't have the right to tell you to stop covering up because you feel uncomfortable. Is the hijab for the uh, mosque or is it from the from just fashion? It, the hijab. It, that's a very good question. Yeah, the, where does it come from? Does it very come good from question. Tradition. Very or, good question. Does it come from the caste system? That's a know? very good question. There's, there's a lot of questions you could ask. About that, that's a very good question. So we're actually we're filming a social experiment right now, and we're doing this fake petition to ban the hijab. Right. That's oh. what this was actually right now. So <laughs> that, that's what this whole thing was. Right. Yeah. The hijab. Hijab literally means a cover or a barrier between people. So hijab oh, okay. doesn't mean scarf. That's what it loosely gets translated to, right? Mm-hmm. Hijab means a barrier or cover. So if I spoke to you from a place of distance, that is a hijab, right? So anything in between is a hijab. A hijab is a commandment from God Almighty, where He has commanded the women to cover themselves and dress in a modest manner. That is a commandment from God. It is not coming from a man telling a woman how they should be dressed. As a man has a version of the hijab as well, certain parts of our body needs to be covered also. So we're not free to just expose ourselves as men. The same way we believe that God is also ordained for women not yeah. to have themselves exposed as well. Yeah. Well, they, yeah. Have you ever read the Quran? I haven't read a lot of it. I just I, I, I looked through it, but I didn't read any of it. If you're trying to ban the hijab, right? Yeah. That is a sign of Islamophobia and that shows a sign of discrimination. Because what's next, right? A Sikh person's turban getting banned? 
right? Why isn't a nun wearing her entire gear that bad? Why is that something celebrated while the hijab is looked at something oppressive? This is a stereotype that they're trying to place in the minds of the people. So we're going around educating people, well, look, this is what a hijab is. It is something ordained by God Almighty, not by some man or anything like that. And I invite you to learn more by reading the Quran. This is an English translation of the Quran, my friend Mark. And this is a free gift from us to you. Okay? So do you still do you still support banning the hijab or I should we cross it, your I name out? It, I think it should be the woman's her choice. It's okay. I'm not gonna wear Fair. a hijab. Fair. I don't wear a hijab. I'm with you on that. So should <laughs> should so should the government or someone have the right to ban it? No, the All government right. shouldn't have the right. It should Sounds be, good. It, well, because they love their husbands too. There we go. We They're trying that. to keep their beauty for the men in their life that means something to them. Also, and they don't want to display their beauty to the rest of the that's world. That's what makes their country, the, well, that's it, the, um, the Quran's from, a, it's a country. It's, it's not from a country. The Middle East, I'll just say Middle East. Yeah. And no, it's not. Where, where is it? The, the Quran was revealed. Like the Quran was revealed to the last and final prophet, Muhammad, peace be upon him, who was a messenger just like Jesus, Moses, Abraham, peace be upon them, okay? This is the final revelation given to mankind, sent to the prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and this book has never been changed or altered. There's 114 chapters in this, through and through, never been changed or altered. You're looking at a translation of the Quran. The Bible obviously has been changed and altered. Catholics have 73 books, yeah, know, Protestants know, have 67. Know, 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 That's not the same thing like of the Muslim. Two, like two thousand denominations of Christ, it's all just from the Christian text. Yes. It makes no sense. This is it's taught to us by God Almighty and the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. There's no addition or subtraction from human interventions or anything like that. Story. It is the same thing and it's preserved in the Arabic language, which is something that other texts cannot say about their text. So we invite you to check this out. It is not from a specific country. Anyone could be a Muslim, anyone who believes in the oneness of God and anyone who believes uh, that there's only one uh, God worthy of worship and the Prophet Muhammad is a messenger, peace be upon him, like the other prophets and Jesus, Moses, they're all messengers of God. As long as you believe in that, Mark, that is what makes someone a Muslim. Can Once you believe in that, that's when God's uh, Sharia comes in. Yes. Can I give you a donation though? For, for, uh, take donations? We're okay. We don't need a donation. I appreciate you offering, but we're no, totally I mean, fine. Well, I don't want to sort of, you know, it's a good Mark, you nice. speaking to us was the best thing that you could do. Thank you for doing that, and thank you for allowing us to change your mind a little bit, too. Oh, yeah, it's, it helps. I was stressed, and I, I was kind of, I don't know. I, it helps. But listen, if we're trying to ban it, we'll call you. Take care, Mark. I love the outfit. Sign a petition, please. Come on. Come on. Oh, okay. We're trying to ban the hijab. Do you want to sign our petition? No? A signature? Just a signature. This is for us to ban the hijab. No? Please. Why not? But no help? Could you sign a petition for us, please? Take a moment. It takes a moment. After they rejected my da'wah efforts, I became sad. But I thought about my mission to build the largest da'wah center and masjid in America. This center will be located on nearly five acres of land containing an accredited K-12 Islamic school, masjid, Dawah Center and a hub for Muslims across America. Receiving Dawah training from top da'is so that Muslims are confident in their deen and Islam can spread in the West. But we need your help. We're so close to reaching our goal to purchase this land in cash so that we avoid taking out a riba-based loan. So your help right now is critical. The Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that the one who builds a masjid, even if the size of a bird's nest, Allah will build them a house in Jannah. Well, this is a pretty big bird's nest that we are trying to build. The Najm Community Center is Shaitan's biggest nightmare as it will inshallah change the course of Islamic history here in America. So click the link below or in the pinned comment and donate whatever you can and let's spread this deen together. Signature right over here. What is it? We're trying to, we're trying to ban the hijab. Ban the hijab. Let people do what they want. Why my brother? Why? But, but why? Tell me, that's for, tell me why. Should they be able to wear it if they want to? Just give me a sec, give me a sec. Somebody to ban your shorts. Yeah, that's a good. That's a good point. Do you think? Do, hold on a second. Do you think it's kind of Islamophobic if they were to do that? Do you think it's kind of bigoted if a person is trying to ban it? I haven't thought about it, but if somebody wants to wear it, let them wear it. You want to wear shorts? I want to wear the t-shirt. Yes. Yes. Then why? Then why is it that governments such as in France, right? They literally want to ban the hijab, and they have banned the hijab in schools, 
and they've banned it in the Olympics as well when it passed by, right? I don't know, ask them. Yeah, but if they're a Western country, why shouldn't a Western country like this adapt it too? Why are you asking me? I'm just asking by Sam's <laughs> okay, but Sam thought about it. We, uh, well, no, no, no. we, we actually we uh, we actually don't two days I think about it. <laughs> Listen, we don't we actually don't want to ban the hijab. I we're actually doing a, a social experiment right over there and we're going around trying to see who's willing to actually practice such a bigoted, Islamophobic type of behavior. And I appreciate that you're not. So okay. thank you for doing that. Wait, I have a gift for you. What's that? Quran. Okay, thank you. God bless you, my friend. Ladies. Come on, please. It takes two seconds Come to on, sign. please. Come on. Guys, could we bother you for a signature? No. No? Come on. Please? It's it's for our cause. We just need a signature for our cause. Okay. Can I have a moment of your time? No, I can sign it though. Can I tell you what it's for? No. And you can decide. You don't want to know what it's for? I'll sign it. You just want to sign it without knowing? You're crazy. The, no. sh thank you. You should at least know what it's for. All right, tell me what you guys think and if you could be down with our thing, our cause. We're trying to ban the hijab. Okay. Um, no? No. So no. Why? It's against my religion. Really? Yeah. What, what's so wrong about it? Why are you Why feeling so strongly against it? it? Well, they did it in France. Where's the camera? Where's the camera? Oh, that one over there. Are you recording? Right. They're a Western country. Okay. Oh my God, they are. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, that's it. It's actually, yeah, we actually, hold on one second. It's actually a social experiment that we're uh -huh. doing. We're trying to figure out who's actually willing to show this type of Islamophobia. And we're trying to make a social experiment about hate exactly. speech. I there like we go, there we go. He's not, oh, he's not low enough, is he, for us? Oh, okay. Well, no, can I ask you this? Can I ask you this? I, put my name. I appreciate it, but can I ask you this? Why? That, that was great. This is what we want to see. Why were you guys so opposed to it? Like, why, what, what was the reasoning for that? Um, the hijab is an option that a woman right. makes to wear, whether or not, based off her perspective of her own religion. And I well don't said. feel like Very we have said. a right to tell people what they should and should not wear if that's what they want to wear. Got you. Well, it's not oppressing anybody else, right? Okay. Not wear. And to assume that they are being forced in itself is a sort of biases and a bigot sort of way to even think because they're not being forced to wear it. They're wearing it by their choice on their own independently. What if they're being forced to take it off? Ah, oh, like, that's interesting. Good point. Good point. Good point. My mom wears one. I'm like, if someone were to go tell her, like, take it off, I feel a type of way. Yes. So, like, yes. that's when I, I saw it when you came up to her. Yeah. And I was like, I was like, you know, you said no, thank you, no, thank you, no, thank you. I knew what was in the car, but then I saw the pins on your hand. I was like, yeah, okay, okay, okay. Look, maybe, maybe I'm a dead giveaway a little bit. Maybe I need, I need to camouflage kind of myself a little better. I might have to. But look, I. No, people have signed it. This is the Palestinian flag, right? Yeah, I know, right? Yeah, I should have done better. But you know what? I, I just appreciate you guys being against this type of behavior because I'm surprised people aren't like having an uproar about this because in France, girls in schools have been banned to wear the hijab completely. And if we look at them as a Western civilized country, well, what's stopping them from doing it over here? Well, who's next? Nuns from wearing their entire garment? Sikh men from wearing their turbans around their heads? I mean, everyone should be able to practice their religion freely, right? If that's what we truly believe, as a democratic country, which they are, you know? And as feminists in this world and people who support the women, they, you should be appalled to the fact that women are being forced to wear it off, take it off, which is oppression within itself. So I just appreciate you guys taking time to talk to us. We do have a gift for you guys, if that's okay. This is a holy Quran in English as a translation. Can I give this to you as a gift? Yes? Yes? Is that okay? Yeah. We have we have one for for you guys oh, as well too. Okay. And this is also just so that people could educate themselves about what we actually believe in. Because I think there's so many misconceptions about what Islam is mm -hmm. that if people just took a moment to educate themselves, I think that a lot the world would just be a better place. Mm -hmm. So I appreciate you guys so much. My sister here is for you, you. and this is for you as well too. You, have a blessed day. Thank okay, guys. God bless you guys. Take care. Thank you for being against it. I know you're on duty, but just a quick question: Is that something that you would support though to ban the hijab? Not personally. No. Is there a reason that you wouldn't? Because I know what France are doing, and they're a Western country just like we are. Yeah. So why not we adopt the same type of thinking? Um, well, one, I don't necessarily think that we should adopt the thinking of all Western countries. Gotcha. Um, two, because I know that I am a formally religious person. Okay. Um, I know that sort of the modesty norms of my religion okay. are something that were very deeply meaningful to me. Very nice. I think for a lot of Muslim women also their faith and sort of like the mores of their faith are really deeply important. Okay. And I think it is 
it feels discriminatory to me to say to someone wow. you are not allowed to practice your religion as okay. like you think it should be practiced. Got you. So you think that France adopting a ban in the school for hijabs and in the Olympics was something discriminatory? Okay. Well, look. Well, yeah, you don't see it as maybe like it's something that's liberating to the Muslim woman, like they're being forced to cover up? They're not being forced to cover up. All, all of the hijabi women that I know personally, yes. which is upwards of 10, want That's to That's a good number. It. That's a good number. Yeah. yeah. Can we trouble you for a signature for our no, cause? It's going to take two seconds. Please? All right. Have a great day. Can I trouble you for a signature for our cause? It's going to take no? two seconds. Please. It would be really nice if you could. I love the shirt. Give me a minute of your time. It's a simple what request. Is it? What is it? We're trying to ban the hijab. Yeah, okay, that sounds great. What else? Go in. No, Go that's deeper. it. We're, so look, look, look. You know the, the Muslim women, they're wearing the hijab, okay? Yeah. We're trying to ban that stuff. Get it out of our country. We don't want it over here. And we just want to know, can yeah, we have your support? It's not patriotic at all. I don't believe a woman should be forced to wear a blanket. Or anyone, Against right? her will. Against her or will. Or anyone. Or, or anyone. anyone. Right. Or, or anyone. Or a man. Right. Yeah. So. Do, do you believe they're being forced to wear it against their will? I, I don't know for you sure. Know. I, you know, when I went to Catholic school mm. in second grade, yeah. Spanish kid, an all white Catholic school, if you didn't kneel down before God on mm -hmm. Friday, mm. Friday Mass, mm. you didn't, you're going to get up, mm. you know? One way or another. Mm -hmm. It could mm. be. For a child that young could be just verbal abuse, uh, verbal abuse from your peers mm -hmm. who don't agree with you, your mm -hmm. white peers, mm -hmm. your Christian mm -hmm. peers, mm -hmm. whatevs, whatevs. I, mm -hmm. I, did, I did what I had to do, I got through it, mm -hmm. it's okay. I would, listen, I want to I want to put a name on this, but I want to make sure it's in the right way I so, want. So let me ask you, right, so what would be the right thing? Do you believe that the hijab should be banned? And I suppose a woman is not being forced so to wear where, it. So where does this go back to? But here's a question Please. I have to ask. Please. You, right? Who are you going to submit this form to? City Council. Do you have a written mission statement? We are just two, you we, you you're right. We are just two young men trying to make America great again and remove any type of these Muslim people I, I, I don't with like that. this America great again. You don't thing. think so? Like, isn't that just like, I mean, but we're isn't that just, just like trading a, on Trump's thing? Okay, look, look. Like why? Why would you say that? I mean, I are, hear you, you. are you are you affiliated? Are you? I'll uh, say this. In line with Trump. I'm not in line with. I'm in line with making sure that there's no none of this Muslim hijab stuff around us. That's why I'm. It's in like line. a disease in our country right now. Yeah, I mean, it's a little weird. You guys are saying that right now because you know you have the features right now, and that doesn't make sense to me. Which which fine. That's cool. Let's let's like let's trick somebody out or I don't mean in a bad way. I don't mm. mean you guys are trying to trick anyone. Don't get me wrong. You're just coming at it from a different point of view. Yeah. Right? You, you know in France they banned the hijab in schools. And not only that, but in the Olympics as well. I mean they're a Western country. Well, well, and you we're agree, Western country. You agree with this, don't you? You agree with Personally, that. Personally, you actually, agree with this. I actually personally don't. Yeah. I'm, wait, I'm fully wait, against you do it. Not agree with banning it? No. Okay. And you know what? Props to you. Yes. Props yes. to you. Because it should not be a ban, but it should not be forced. Thank 100%. You. Now, Thank if the women are not being forced, they have the right to wear the hijab. No man or government body should be forcing you to take it off. If you're blaming them for being forcing to put it on, you're forcing them to take well, it off. Well, okay. But they're not being forced to put it on, just Let, to be clear. All right. And I understand what you're saying, and I yes. think that we're on the same page. Yes. And I love having this discussion with yes. you right now, today, out of nowhere. <laughs> well, I wasn't planning on it. I was planning on getting some more of my work done. Whatever, and I like being here with you guys. I like talking to you. Thank you. I, I want, same, I same. I want to share ideas. Share them. Ideas. We're listening. Okay. Yeah. We're both agreed on. No one should be forced. Yeah, no right. No one should and be they forced. should have the choice to wear it, but banning right. it ain't yeah. the right the thing way, either. Same way, if I decided to come out here today and I decided to put a onesie yeah. on okay. with a with a, a, a f horse a unicorn yeah, yeah. head, and I'm walking around. Huh. You know, and as long as I'm not hurting anybody, sure. you know, sure. I should be able to do you that. You should be able right? to do that, sure. Okay. We're actually filming a social experiment right now, trying to see who is willing to actually sign an Islamophobic, bigoted type of petition like this. And believe it or not, we did get some signatures, believe it or not, right? I'm sorry, uh, I'm sorry. You're good, you're sorry. good. No, no, no. Because you know what it is, my friend, that 
this type of bigotry in the world is spreading like a cancer, right? Because if Muslims are being targeted, right? What about a Sikh man who's wearing a turban of his own? What about a nun who wears hers? Why would you look at a Muslim woman and say she's oppressed and she's forced to wear it, but a nun who's practicing her religion deeply with God, she's looking at someone who's not forced or oppressed. This is the type of brainwash that we've been given. If a woman, you're saying, has the right to wear it, right? She's not being forced. If she's actually not being forced and she wants to wear the hijab, no man should force her to take off. No okay. government body should force her to take off the hijab. One caveat. Cool, sure. I mean, you guys gotta agree with me on this. Come on. You make talk to me, talk to me. Common sense, common sense. ID, photo ID. We're talking about the hijab, not the niqab. Not the niqab. The hijab is just a scarf that women wear oh, on the head. My, my apologies. No, that's okay. No, 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 suppose, not suppose, not suppose. My, my, if my. you do wear the niqab, if let's suppose you do choose to wear the niqab, right? When it comes time for identification, you should be able to take it off to identify yourself. You must. Yeah, you have to. I'm, I'm, I'm with you on that. But the point There's is no this. No other way. No, I'm balance. with you. I'm you with cannot, you. you. It is a balance between it. You don't have a machine where you can say, hey, God. Is this no, no, I'm with you on that. But the point of the matter is this, sir. We want to make sure that people understand that the hijab, one, is not something that is being forced upon Muslim women. Rather, they are wearing it to deeper the connection with God. And it, it doesn't I come. I am concerned about that right tell me, off the bat. Tell me, right tell me there. what. There is tell a concern me. there. Tell me. Okay, so this conversation got extremely intense. And if you would like to watch the raw, uncut, 35-minute, full video, consider joining my private YouTube community, where I upload exclusive videos that are too extreme for YouTube. Please, a signature. I just tear our cause out. Yes, you're staying. Thank you for not ignoring us. We appreciate you, okay? Sorry, no, I'm about to find man. Why not? Give me a second, why? Tell, tell me why. religion, man. I'm Oh, no way, from where? Libya. Libya. So why do you believe that she doesn't know the cause? We're trying to ban the hijab, and he immediately opposed it, right? Yeah. Why are you Why are you against it so yeah, harshly? Cross necklaces as well. Well, they have in France in schools. You're not I allowed know, to wear them. Don't f with that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Why, why do you believe that? Why do you believe it's wrong? Religious, religious freedom, man. Just do whatever you want. It's man. Who gives a f yeah. Yeah. So. I don't give a f what other people do, as so long as you're not like harming another person. There we go. So if no, no, it's okay. So tell me, tell me more about that. Like, if you're, if if a woman's no, not being just, forced. It's just like a clothing. You know? Yes. That's that, that's like my official opinion. Right? Yeah. Right. So if a person is not being forced to wear it, don't you think forcing them to take it off is the oppression? Yeah. Right. Yeah. That would make sense. Right. Well, look, I appreciate you being opposed to it. We're actually Muslims ourselves, alhamdulillah. Yeah, okay. And we're, we're doing a social experiment right now. <laughs> okay. We're doing a social experiment trying to see and educate people on the hijab and what's happening in the world and how we should be opposed to it because you made a good point. What's next? Crosses? What's yeah. next? A Sikh man's turban? Yeah. A nun wearing the full gear? She should be able so to wear it. Uh, of course this not. Is, this is fake. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You're good, man. You're good. We're good. Yeah, our camera's like over there. <laughs> yeah, so we're trying to we're actually trying to educate people on the hijab. Yeah, we don't people signed it. People signed it. People signed it. It's it's so crazy. Some people actually believe that it's a good thing to do. And I think the misconception that we found is that they believe the women are forced to wear it, which isn't true. But it's, They're not. It's, it's oppression to make them take it off. My yeah. sister, my sister's Muslim, she doesn't wear it. You know, like mm -hmm. So, but to someone who is choosing to wear, to force them to take it off, that, there's so that, much yeah. bigotry and hatred to unpack out of that statement. That's what France is doing right now. Exactly. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. France is and in the Olympics, they didn't let women wear the You, you would think a democratic, western, civilized country would be against such barbaric practices. So they're trying to claim one thing is oppression, yet themselves are doing the real oppression, stopping women from the freedom of choice to wear their gear. So look, we appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. Uh, nah, oh, you are. Oh, you are. You're going viral for the greatest things of all kinds. Absolutely, absolutely. Before, before we let you guys go, we would love to give you guys a Quran message. So this is an English translation of the Quran for you uh, to educate them. Is that okay? Yeah. It's okay. Wait, if you're carrying it, how's she gonna read it? Well, I, I've got okay. one, so I can. Like, you can give that to a friend. Exactly. How about this is for you then? Stop no, trying. I'll get, I'll stop get, trying to ban her from reading the Quran. I, I was gonna give this one to her. <laughs> no, that's for you guys. Give this to a friend if you need to, my friend. But I appreciate you being so appalled to this because, if I'm being honest with you, we need more people in the world like this because they should not be agreeing to such a thing. And and I appreciate you guys. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. People sign. He has, he has, he has some signatures. I have some signatures. But in all fairness, a lot of people were against it. Most of the people were against it, as they should be, right? Check out our channel. It's called Way of Life SQ. It's all one word.
Yep. Okay. Way of life. Let's go. All over. Thank you, my brother. Take care, sister. God bless you. Okay. Have a blessed day. Islamophobia is the result of ignorance and us failing to give da'wah. These people have a good heart, but need to be educated about Islam. I believe we've planted the seeds of goodness in their lives, and with some love and care, this can blossom into something amazing. And if you'd like me to do a try a hijab social experiment in France, then get this video to 25,000 likes. And until next time, I'm out. They know, they know, they know.